It's a great day at Texas Lutheran. Uh, the first ever public speech that Ed Whitaker will have given in Texas will happen right here on our campus. It's got sort of a bird's eye view on all the changes that are happening in the economy and also uh, the automobile industry, so people are going to be eager for his perspective. I think everybody at General Motors, including me, feels, feels there's some hope out there. There's some momentum. Many of the students in this room got to know Ed Whitaker when he served as an executive professor of business in residence, a position he assumed after his retirement from AT&T and just as the iPhone was introduced across the world. Watching our students so attentive for his lecture on the iPhone, you would have thought he was a rock star. He's only been there four months and so it's been a interesting to see how uh, he's learned so quickly and uh, and I think that'll be an interesting thing for the students too is to watch a leader uh, move from one industry to another and uh, sort of how one does that. Hi my name is Aaron Bamel. I'm a comm major graduating this coming May uh, 2010. Now with the uh, the bankruptcy of course of GM in the past coming into this uh, I guess an uphill battle. What was the biggest motivational factor to get you into this kind of an uphill battle to try to take something and turn it into uh, something much more positive than it has been in the past? America cannot afford to lose its manufacturing capability. That just cannot go away. We need to do that. We're technologically as good as anybody else and we can't afford in this country to let manufacturing get away. We need to save that. There are millions of jobs involved. I think I said four and a half million. You think of the suppliers that make parts for these. You think of the involvement of the dealers. You think of everybody involved in this. It's not just General Motors. These tentacles reach way out, even into Seguin and everywhere else, for people who make this. This is a huge economic driver for this country. The Whitakers, both Ed and Linda, are our longtime friends of Texas Lutheran University. Um, Ed was our commencement speaker in 2003 and um, was our honoree at our uh, Excellence in Leadership Scholarship Dinner. Um, his wife, Linda, has been uh, a member of the Board of Regents for several years, and she's currently on our executive committee of the board. So they've been very connected uh, in leadership roles. They've also been very generous supporters. When you spend a little time out here, you'll find this is a great little university doing great things and uh, graduating the kind of people that you and I would want to go out in the world. And they have a, a terrific program here. So, you know, I feel good about it. I've been associated for several years. It's a terrific place.